um, it's going to be very different because that's another thing that that's a good point. You have to really keep in mind your audience when you're writing, um, which I'm sure you guys have been probably told over and over. But I have to bring down my mind to that of maybe like a sixth grade education um, when I'm going to write something that I want teen moms to pay attention to. So that may not even just be a flyer. It just it may be a, a um, an informational sheet on types of stress. I do a workshop on stress and I want them to be able to um, determine whether the, the stressful situation um, on the paper is a positive stress or a negative stress. Um, so I have to be careful about how I'm writing that because you want to cater to people who don't necessarily have a college education or even a high school education. They're not even out of high school necessarily or didn't graduate high school and dropped out. Um, and we have a mom, I had a mom who was, she got pregnant when she was 12, she was 13. I, I forgot when I was talking to her that she didn't understand a lot of the words I was saying that are very basic to me, but she hadn't even had, you know, been in high school yet. So um, that's a huge difference, but when you write for a grant or a funder, you want to come off as very, um, you want to use the lingo that's, you know, a, in the field of social work. You want to be able to use the lingo, but you want to come across as very proficient in your writing and your thinking and your application of, you know, that money that they're giving you. They want to see that that's being spent well. So again, I think that you could have program A, does an amazing job, um, meets all their goals, they uh, succeed in every possible way. Program B, meets all their goals, success, success, success. But if they're writing you know, on their reports are, you know, one of them is sort of lacking or there are a lot of errors or they just don't come across as being very proficient in that way, then they could be turned down as opposed to this other program who maybe didn't even do as quality of work, you know. So I think it can, I think it can be a make or break situation. And it, like I said, it's just, it just, um, it just, you have to prove yourself in so many ways already. So. I don't, you know, I don't want to have that be a weakness or a stopping point where you can't even get through the writing because it's just so broken up or um, fractured.